Hey everybody, tonight we're gonna to be making some ground beef with some taco seasoning. So, we've got our hot pan here. Uh, got the heat going. It's about, uh, you know, my stove goes from low to high. You've got four is pretty much your mid-level heat. I've got it on a three, which is kind of a low to mid high temperature. Uh, gonna first add some butter. Just so we, uh, so the ground beef doesn't stick to the pan. We've got some Maverick Ranch uh, organic grass-fed beef that we're gonna use, one pound. So we're just gonna slice it open here. I just take a serrated knife and give it a cut. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Okay, and we're gonna... Now we're browning the beef. So we want it to get uh, nice and golden brown. Uh, so I'm not gonna start breaking it up yet. As you can see, it's full there now. Uh, so we're just gonna get it to cook. Let it brown on one side. And while that's going, I'm going to get a little ramekin here. And if you could see, well, you can't see here, but I'm going to make some taco seasoning. Um, while that browns, see the pan a little bit better. Okay, so now it's browning on one side. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Start browning the other side while that's going. Uh, so my main ingredient in the taco seasoning is uh, cumin, ground cumin. So that's, I do about a little more than a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of ground cumin. So I just take the top off and I just shake it in. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly one tablespoon, but I just want to make sure it's a good portion. Second major ingredient is your chili powder. So this, I add pro about two teaspoons of chili powder. Just go ahead and, uh, this is, sorry, this is a brand new one, so I gotta open it up here. I'm actually just gonna Kind of get it fingered in there. Okay, and as you can hear it sizzling now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start breaking the ground beef up. I use a solid spatula, solid plastic spatula that doesn't, that's not flimsy. And you just want to break it into little smaller pieces. And then you just let that brown, and as it browns, you're going to have water that's inside start to seep out. And to get this really nice, you want, you're want you eventually going to have it all broken into little pieces. And as the water seeps out, you're going to have quite a bit in. People are tempted to just uh, strain it into the sink or something and get it out of the ground beef. Uh, to me, that makes the ground beef drier. I let the ground beef just soak in its own juices and it'll start to, to suck up the water back into the ground beef. My second ingredient here for taco seasoning is coriander. I do about a teaspoon of coriander. Get that shaken in. Next in line is paprika. Uh, I do about a teaspoon of paprika. And then I like to add garlic powder, not garlic salt. I do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add uh, onion powder, also about a teaspoon.
And then my last ingredient is Redmond's Real Salt. And what I do is I, I, I do about, about a teaspoon and a half of, of Redmond salt. And all I do is just uh, shake it into my hand. And as you can see, it's approximately a little more than a teaspoon. And depending on how salty you want it, and then just add it in. You can see all the ingredients in there. Just add in the salt. I don't use a utensil or anything. I just, I, to mix it up, I just shake it back and forth. Kind of tap the sides. And just get it all mixed together before I add it to the ground beef. All right, so now the seasoning's done. Come back to the ground beef and just flip it over. Little piece jumped out there. I had to throw it back into the pan. Let it cook and brown. Get all that flavor going. And while that's cooking some more, I'm gonna keep breaking it up so you get it into little chunks. Because you don't want, you wanna make sure A, it's all the way cooked through and you don't want big chunks when you're taking a bite of a burrito or something. So I get this all chopped up as much as I can with my spatula. Just gonna let that render down. And you wanna just use visuals. You wanna look at it, make sure there's no red that's in, in there uh, or pink. You want it cooked all the way through. And I just go in, scoop underneath it and then flip it over kind of like a pancake and do some more chopping. Get it down to the little tiny, tiny bits. Get it all chopped up evenly. And now the ground beef is at a state I'll show it to you here. It's starting to soak up all of the, the water that was, in, that was inside and came out. I like to get it soaked back in. While you're browning the ground beef, it gives you more flavor and it won't be as dry. And you wanna just keep stirring it, chopping it, till it's all nice and brown. There's before you add any of your other ingredients. Now this is carnivore diet friendly meal. Uh, I do seasoning, uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these, uh, these are egg life wraps. These wraps are made of egg whites. They're not yellow, that's just the packaging. You can see through it, but you pull it out here and as you can see, it's just white, they're round. It comes in a package of six, it's about six, seven dollars. Nice and thin, but they hold up really well. I, I'll just throw it in the microwave for about 12 seconds. Uh, and then I'll throw on some, you can see down at the end there, I've got some shredded cheese, some whole sour cream, and a little bit of chipotle hot sauce. Okay, the, the water's starting to render out. So you wanna keep stirring it. Okay, now all the water's out. So now the water's back into the ground beef. What you wanna do is I actually add in a half a cup of water and then I take my tacos, homemade taco seasoning that is healthier for you. Uh, what you may not know is the most of the taco seasonings you buy in the store in the packets, read the ingredients. A lot of them have maltodextrin, sugar, uh, and other junk you don't want in your body. It's not healthy for you. That's why I always make my own taco seasoning, so it's healthier. Go ahead and sprinkle the seasoning into the pan with the ground beef and your water. And then get it all mixed in all while maintaining a uh, temperature between a two and a three on your stove. Do one last little chop through. Make sure the seasoning gets all integrated into the ground beef. Then I like to shake it flat on the, on the stove, kind of flatten it out. 
Then I just like to get a last uh, last minute sear in it. You can hear the, the water starting to bubble again. I just like to get a little, little more mixture to it with the heat, seasoning, uh, the juices from the water and the beef itself, give a little more flavor. Uh, also, you, it has less juice when you, you're adding it to your shell. You can see the steam coming up here. Okay, and at this point, I'll, and there you go. If there was such a thing as smell-o-vision, you'd be smelling this right now and go, ooh, that smells like some good Mexican food, man. Tacos. All right, there you have it, and I'll show you how to do a, one of your shows. You grab one of these egg white wraps, toss in the microwave, 15 seconds. While that's cooking, the meat is just cooling down. Ooh, that's a little hot. Throw that on a plate. Grab your spatula, grab approximately one scoop. You don't want too much now, so that's probably a... And then grab myself a fork. Well, hold on, this... Uh, let me grab another sour cream. This one doesn't look quite right. All right, got another sour cream here. It looks a lot better. Scoop some out. Put it on your taco. Probably should have done the cheese first, let it let the heat of the meat melt it a little bit, but it's all good. We'll still get it added. Just shredded cheddar jack cheese. Sprinkle some on. And grab uh, so this is just some uh, organic chipotle pepper sauce. Uh, there's no added sugar to this. Really good stuff, I like the flavor of this one. Kick it up a notch, give it some spice. And there you have it, a carnivore friendly taco. Eat up, enjoy.